Hey guys, look another video. Today I'll be talking about AI Katie. I know this is a little late, but there's been a lot of other stuff that I've been doing uh, my content lately, so I'm just now getting to this. It should be posted on Monday. So, I know most people uh, only really look at our Team R and S Team R, and yes, those are really amazing and awesome, but I don't know if I really need to go over them. I think everybody really knows about them by now. This is just a better ribbon, and it's a kind of. I wouldn't say broken, but this is actually really insane because this is something that doesn't have, that's never been in any kind of an item. 100% break resistance, full break resistance for three turns. Now sure, it only lasts for the first three turns of the fight, but like, that's actually incredible. It's not less than 100% like I thought it was going to be, it's 100%. And I don't think I need to go for this because I think everybody knows about this. Uh, the upgrade package so <laughs> just very quickly it's it's just amazing it's it's so great for pretty much anyone the only downside is that it does not have like it doesn't have a uh, magic tdh or magic true do wield if they had that that would be probably the like it's already probably one of the best stmrs in the game this would it would mark it would definitely be the best stmr in the game if it had that but still very good with the uh, tanks very good with a dps Somewhat good with magic users, but not the best with magic users. Honestly, I think the, the magic side is probably going to be the least useful. But it's still quite good. So, now that we've got that out of, out of the way, what people most know about her, let's talk about the actual unit itself. So, with her dual skills, she can use all of her abilities, of course. And... She does have some ma some magic here she can use. Um, just dual cast, not dual black magic cast. So you can use any of her moves. Uh, she has some white. Uh, she has some green magic here, which is okay. It's okay. It's nice to have. <laughs> she does not have re-rays though, but she does have Curica and Curaja. So those are nice to have on your on your tank like unit. She has some chaining moves, but they're they're not very strong. But they're not really supposed to be. They're not really supposed to be strong because it's a it's a tank. So, um, I just feel like a lot of people are just disregarding her because she doesn't have very good damage and she doesn't have very good passives. But like, look at all the passives, guys! Look at all these passives. It reminds me of like Noctis back then. With he has all these passives. Um. She is, she is very tanky, in a, in a way, you can make her, or you can just disregard the entire tankiness and just build her for dodge. Make her 100% dodge and cover with physical. Because <laughs> there's not very many, I gotta say, there's not very many tanks that would have this kind of, like, capabilities of doing these kind of things. But also being able to cover, so... She can cover physical, and she can dual cast it. So, you'd be able to cover... And also chain if you want, or maybe you can do some, if you want to do something else. <laughs> like if you want to chaos wave or start a strike, you can also um, use one of her cooldowns. So like it's she's impressive. I kind of just want to start using her at some point soon. Like I want to start using her for clears or something because I feel like she is going to be very strong. I feel like even though she doesn't have any uh, evasion in her kit, you can still make her 100% dodge. Uh, she'll do really well. You know, evasion, cover tank. She can't provoke, I, I don't believe. Pretty sure she can't provoke. But if she could dodge provoke, that'd be really good. You can make her auto... I don't know if you'd be able to make her auto evoke and auto dodge or not. You'd be able to dodge too yet. That would that require a lot of gear. Most than what, what may, people may have, so... She, uh... She's able to give, uh boost to her other selves, but it's not really worth it. You're like, it's not really worth bringing the other ones, I gotta say. The free one's okay though, the, the lovely Katie, that's, that one's pretty good. It's not better than the gacha healer, but it's it's a good free healer, I gotta say. So she's quite strong, kind of like a hybrid unit, but also doesn't have to be a hybrid unit, because she has physical and magical unit damage. But she has hybrid unit, hybrid uh, damage as well. So I just think that she's overall a very good unit. 
Um, most people are following her already, so I don't really need to say that. And the lone first is quite good, 70% break, full break, and also more than attack and magic, you get attack, defense, magic, and spirit, 250%. You have to max it, but I mean, you probably want to do that anyways. So, I, overall, I think that she's just very good. Um, not, she's not really getting the credit that she is due for. Being able to re decrease MP usage as well is quite nice. You don't have to re rely on her, or you don't have to worry about, oh, she's running out of MP, she's doing a lot of stuff. A lot of these MP costs that you're, that you're, that you're seeing on the screen, a little bit cut in half, a lot. So that's quite nice, I gotta say, she has a lot of good stuff going on. You'd have to sit down and, and uh, basically work out which passives you want to work with, but that's a lot of, it says a lot of passives here guys, but in the end, I feel like she is quite good as a unit itself, because she's just able to do so many things, and it's just it just feels nice that... Uh, She's not just good to only for TMR and SMR, which are also obviously the main selling point of this unit, but she also, like I said, she can do other things too. So, for anyone who still hasn't pulled or just on the fence about it, she will be a very good unit going forward. She'll be able to do some things. Um, she, being able to dual cast all of her abilities, unlike other units on the global side where sometimes you won't be able to dual cast some abilities or they're blocked from the dual cast. You can use all of her abilities right now, all of them. So that's a huge plus in my book. I like those kind of things. And overall, I just again, like I just think that she is pretty good. Um, take that as you will. If you pulled for already, uh, well, then I guess you have th some uh, gear crafting to do with her. Do you make her dodge tank? Do you try to just Work with the stats that she has, and just make her maybe more, more tanky with a lot of gear. Or you just put her on the bench, I don't know. She will not be on the bench for me though, I think I will be using her at some point, so... Hope you guys, uh, tried her out too. Because I think that she will be worth your while, in my opinion. I don't see that very often with a lot of units. But... I do think that she is worthwhile in some way. Or another. So with that being said guys, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please subscribe, please like, and please let me know if you did pull for her, if you're just trying to get the Lapis still try and get more of her. Because I, I do feel like she is worth, if you, even if you only get two, I feel like one of the one of the rare times I will say it's worth using an STMR Mugulon is this. Use again, this is very, very useful, uh, very, very resourceful to use it on so overall there's not much else to say about her other than she'll be a very good tank in the future probably being able to dodge dodge uh, cover while also providing damage and other things anyways like I said please subscribe please like and please let me know down below what you think of her if you like her kit you don't like her kit and you just wanted her for her STMR that's fine too that's completely fine because like I said, it's really good, so... Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.